Hey guys, welcome back to Gemma Master. And in this video, let's check out how to play the Gemma drum with a wristband. So why use a wristband in the first place? Well, to put it simply, it's to make the bass strokes softer. So first I'll show what bass strokes sound without the wristband and then I'll put the wristband on and show you what's up. So as you can hear, the bass sounds much more softer, even quieter with the wristband on. Now, I think I got mine from a store which sells items uh, for people with disabilities. In this case, a wrist injury maybe has occurred, uh, some trauma, and it will hold the wrist for a while. Um, this has seen better days, but it works fine because it still stays where I left it. Um, also, the wristband that tennis players use should work fine as well. Um, so how to put the wristband on? Um, just make sure that the whole wrist is covered, that you will not see your wrist, but the wristband will cover the whole wrist and the top here will actually be touching the starting point of your palm. Now how to do strokes? Two ways basically. One is a similar motion to the normal bass stroke, which is quite vertical. Um, and the second one is to do this, this motion, this really sharp, really quick motion. Um, but what's even more important is where to land those strokes. They're a little bit different than the normal bass stroke. So you wouldn't necessarily do them in the center, but with the wristband on, you would do another radius, kind of off-center. So here is where this radius would sound best. And I would do the wristband bass strokes off-center because the center is a little soft, it's, um, it doesn't bounce back quite as sharply. It's totally fine to do them in the center as well, but you just gotta play around with them. I find uh, the bass sound just a bit more precise when I do it a little bit off center. So you can obviously mix it up, meaning one bass strokes with the wristband is gonna be done with this sharp motion. The other one is going to be a vertical stroke and actually, which is cool, what is it, really cool with the wristband is you can actually switch between the bass strokes. You don't have to use it. So you're playing your rhythm, you're using a normal bass stroke and then all of a sudden when you want to go softer, you just switch the technique. So now I'm going to play some beats using the wristband. So all the bass strokes are going to be muted, softer because of it. First, less is more, and then I will evolve into more is just right.
So that's a short overview of how to use the wristband with the Gemma drum. Uh, I mostly use it at concerts, uh, when I'm playing with a guitar player who I just met yesterday. So I don't know their songs really well. They start their songs, I kind of jump in, and I start adding some strokes. So first strokes might be some nice, soft bass strokes. And then we'll see what happens from there. The beat gets more complex. So, if you have questions, do write them in the comments. And if you want to take your skills to the next level, make sure to check out those courses at jimbamaster.com. So that's just... That's... <laughs> so as you can hear... Boom. It's on. So as you can hear,